as an agronomist, knowing how to make fertilizer recommendations from a soil test is a really important skill. And in today's episode, I'm going to teach you how. As winter turns into spring in Western Canada, farmers begin to prepare for the cropping season. Before putting seed in the ground, it is important to know the state of the soil, how much nutrients are left behind. During the cropping season, several processes affect soil nutrient levels. These include crop nutrient uptake, runoff and leaching. Over time, the soil nutrient reserve becomes depleted and will need to be replenished. Soil testing provides a way of knowing the level of this nutrient reserve as well as other soil properties that affect how nutrients are released. It is a tool that helps match fertilizer application to the needs of the crop while avoiding wastage and possible contamination of the environment. To get useful information from a soil test, you will need to divide the field into zones with similar characteristics when soil sampling. For example, hilltops and low-lying areas should be sampled separately because they have different characteristics that affect the nutrient levels in those areas. A soil auger or shovel can be used for soil sampling. A soil sampling truck is also useful if you are going to be taking a lot of samples from many fields. Take several soil cores from each zone and combine them into one sample per zone. Send these off to a soil testing lab as soon as possible or within 24 hours after sampling. When the samples have been analyzed by the lab, you will receive a soil test report like this one. The report shows the levels of macronutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and micronutrients like iron and boron. The report may also indicate other soil properties such as soil pH, salinity and texture which can affect the availability of nutrients and crop growth. There are several approaches to making a fertilizer recommendation. One approach is to use crop nutrient removal estimates. To make a fertilizer recommendation using this approach you will need three things. A soil test report a realistic yield goal for the crop to be grown and a table of crop nutrient removal estimates. Let's say you want to recommend the rate of phosphorus that should be applied to grow a yield of 40 bushel per acre canola. This crop removal estimate table shows that one bushel of canola takes up between 1.31 to 1.63 pounds of phosphorus. You can take the average of the two number ranges to get an estimate of 1.47 pounds of phosphorus per bushel of canola. So to grow 40 bushel canola, you need 40 times 1.47, which is equal to 59 pounds of phosphorus per acre. Next, take a look at the soil test report. This lab reports phosphorus as either by carb or P1. As a general rule, if soil pH is high, you would consider the bicarb P result, the bicarbonate P result. If pH is low, consider the Bre1 P. So in this case, pH is 7.7, .7, so I would consider the bicarb P result. The result shows that the soil already has 10 ppm or 10 parts per million of phosphorus. A simple rule of thumb is to multiply ppm by 2 to get the amount in pounds. So 10 ppm will be approximately 20 pounds of phosphorus. So that means the soil already has 20 pounds of phosphorus per acre. So since the soil already has 20 pounds of phosphorus per acre, we would need 59 minus 20 equals 39 pounds of additional phosphorus. Fertilizer products are not pure single nutrients. They contain other materials as well. So supposing the fertilizer phosphorus products to be used 
is monoammonium phosphate map map is 11520 which means that 52 percent of the product is phosphorus so to get 39 pounds of phosphorus from map we'll need 100 divided by 52 times 39 equals 75 pounds of map fertilizer so the farmer will need to apply 75 pounds of map per acre note that 11 percent of map is nitrogen so when we apply 75 pounds of map we are also applying 8.25 pounds of nitrogen you may need to account for this when making nitrogen recommendations this is a simple approach of how to use the result of a salt test to make fertilizer recommendations the truth though is that several factors affect the availability of nutrients and should be taken into account a farm which is the alberta farm fertilizer information and recommendation manager is one online fertilizer recommendation tool that takes several other variables into account and i recommend checking it out it was originally designed to be used in Alberta, but it can be used for other parts of the prairies with some caution. The soil sustains life, so don't treat it like dirt. So till next time, keep growing.